Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video. We are back at it again with my mystery Squishmallow unboxing series and today we have ordered some Squishmallows all the way from Australia so I'm excited to see what we have in the box today. And if you're new here, hello, hi. I have a bunch of videos where we've been unboxing mystery Squishmallows so I highly highly recommend to check out my Squishmallow playlist. We have a ton of fun Squishmallow content on the channel so check it out for sure. We've done Amazon mystery boxes, we've done on rare Squishmallow mystery boxes and now we're gonna get into Australian mystery boxes so I'm very very excited. I got this box from the website Brickhead Collectibles. I have ordered from them before and I've always had a good experience with what I've ordered. This time around it did take a while to get to me. I mean understandably so. I ordered it in December so it was around the holiday season and it was an international package so I'm not surprised at all that it took a while to get to me but we finally have it in our hands so we can finally unbox it. Since I ordered it in like the beginning of December, I truly don't remember how much I spent or what I ordered. The only thing I remember is that there's clips in here. I got like mystery clips. This is like my first international order of Squishmallows that I'm doing on this series on the channel. So I'm excited to see what this brings me. Maybe international mystery boxes are where it's at, you know what I mean? And also please excuse my shelves in the background. I know they're really messy and like people are like falling over like Hello Kitties kind of of like having a bad day right here but I am going to be doing a video reorganizing all of my shelves so stay tuned for that. Anyways let's get into it. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and we're going to see what we get. I am now thinking that there's actually some 7.5 inch squishmallows in here because I actually saw it on the side of the box. I think it literally says it right there that it's like 7.5 inch mystery squishmallow so I think I ordered that and clips. I think. We'll see. Open squishmallow mystery box oh no i just opened it and i saw a flash of tie-dye oh besties oh besties i haven't even finished getting the box all the way open and i'm already terrified okay i got the box open i'm gonna try it not to look even though i kind of already saw i'm just gonna pull this out oh there's there's quite a few oh there's it feels like there's a lot of where are the clips I'm just gonna start pulling things out. We're gonna see what we pull out. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay. Yes, indeed I did order a clip mystery box, which comes with six clips, and then a seven inch mystery box, which comes with eight? That comes with eight of them? What the heck? So the clip mystery box was 1848, and the seven inch Squishmallow box was 52. Oh, three. So we'll get into the prices probably after I unbox all of these. Here is the first one and these are seven inches which are of course an inch smaller than eight inches obviously obviously. I'll just use my Lilibet to compare. It does make a big difference surprisingly. Like you wouldn't think one inch makes the difference but it does. So that's kind of like the size comparison. This is the first Squishmallow and this is Arabella and honestly she's a freaking cutie. What the heck? I love her little flower crown. I'm not the biggest fan of like tie-dye but since she's just blue and pink then it's kind of like more of a cotton candy vibe which I really do enjoy. There's her little tag. Oh and she's like in this little Easter squad. Okay. I have kind of like a similar one. Um, It's not Arabella but she doesn't have the bangs um, but like it's I think it was the one from Target that's like holding the little flower. I'll put a picture on the screen because she's buried deep in my shelves. I can't get her right now. I'm definitely gonna be keeping her. She's so cute. The next one that we have if you've seen my Amazon mystery boxes you know that we got like two of these in the Amazon boxes so I'm sick of this one. I'm sick of this one. This is Razy the ramen. This is from the food squad. I'm tired. I'm tired. Not keeping that one. No. The next one I'm assuming is also food squad. This is Deja, the pop tart or like pastry or whatever. I don't know if pop tart is trademarked. Probably right. Deja, the toaster pastry. Let me not get sued. You know, this is a good shape. She's very plump, which is a big plus because a lot of these mystery box Squishmallows, they are just so stuffed in these boxes that they get so flat. So the fact that she's like nice and plump, like, you know, if she had like pink frosting, I would definitely keep her, but I'm not a fan of like the chocolate frosting. She's solid. She's like the most plump Squishmallow I think I've gotten so far in these boxes. Now this is the next one. This is Nicole and of course she is a unicorn cat. She's also quite plump. I'm not a big fan of like the ones with the horns but she is really cute. I do love the color 
and her like multicolored hair kind of reminds me of like My Little Pony. It gives My Little Pony vibes. So I do, I do like her, you know, she's pretty cute. Probably won't keep her, but hey, solid Squishmallow. At least it's not Food Squad, you know? So I'm gonna pull out the next bag from the box and I did catch a quick peek when I opened the box and I'm really excited because it's one that I really, really want. This is the next bag and I will just pull them out one by one for you. Starting off with the one I was excited about, a little Wamina! Oh my goodness, this made everything so worth it. I'm so happy I got this box. If you don't know me, if you haven't been around on the channel, I love frogs, just like in general, but of course Squishmallow frogs. I have a huge Squishmallow frog collection. And I do have an 8 inch Wamina. So now I have a 7 inch Wamina, which I didn't even know that she came in 7 inches. But I'm super duper excited. She is so cute. I love her colors. I love her little thingy on the back. It's so quirky and unique. And I just think she's so fun. I'm so excited to have her. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we got a frog in this mystery box. That was a highlight, honestly. Here's the next one. But she is missing her tag, actually. Actually, no tag. That's kind of odd. So I don't know her name off the top of my head. So I'm sorry I can't give you her name. But she is a little horse and she's got a little bow. She's pretty cute. I would probably keep her if I took off the bow. I'm sad that she's missing the tag. Next up, okay, this is the tie-dye that I saw when <laughs> I opened it accidentally. This is a lander, and unfortunately the tag did get a little um squooshed in the box. But this is Lander the Panda Unicorn Pegasus or something. You know. Know, it, it's definitely a choice. <laughs> this wouldn't be my choice of squish, um, not only because of the horns, but if I if I even took away the horns, like I'm not a big fan of the tie dye, especially around the eyes. I think that just it just makes him look like sick, you know? Like he has like I don't know something like what's this little spot my dude but anyway it's still a good squishmallow really nice quality all of these are so plump i don't know does australia put like extra stuffing in their squish or something and the last and final one for the seven inch mystery bag is this koala um i believe it's kaya so kaya and the horse are in the same squad as you can see this is also not quite my taste with the multicolored belly this fabric specifically looks a little like muddy also and then of course these little fuzzy ears not necessarily my taste i'm also not really into koalas that much but again so plump honestly wamina was the flattest like i think she's the flattest out of all of them look at these plumpies oh my goodness so yeah that's all the squish from the seven inch uh mystery box i forgot that i came with eight of them what the heck and let me do the math to see how much this worked out to be for like each squish so the box was 52 us dollars and three cents just let me clarify that divided by eight squishmallows that made each squishmallow six dollars and fifty cents which i think is a really good deal. I will also mention the shipping as well since this was an international order and if you want to order from this website I just want to let you know that there is some high shipping cost if you're located like in the U.S. at least. Not quite sure for other countries but at least where I live in the U.S. ordering this box from Australia cost me $26 so of course there is that extra shipping cost so although these are on the cheaper side um, there's also the shipping. So just to let you know. Anyways, let's move on to the clips. Now, I'm very intrigued. Oh, I just caught a little peek -see. Okay, let's just open this. Very interesting that they put them in a box. So let's take a look. Wait, is this just a squad? Don't tell me they just gave me one, one squad and they were like, here, not even random ones. Hold on. There's tape on the box. Give me the freaking scissors because i'm pretty sure two of the clips in here are from the same squad i want to say this is like i'm unboxing a box of cupcakes or something <laughs> okay so here are the clips now first of all we have an axolotl clip which i'm very very excited about this is monica i freaking knew it okay so they're not all from the same squad i take it back but there is that um multicolored little fox who we also have. So these are from the same squad, just saying. But yeah, little Monica, she's so cute. I don't think I have this clip. I have a different Monica clip. Um, the one that looks more like this with the stripes that was from Target a while back. I have that one, but I don't have this one with like the little shiny belly and little fins. So that is super, super cute. And I'm glad that I got her. Definitely going to be keeping her. The next one is uh, Xenia, I believe. I hope that's how you say it. This like tie-dye fox from the same squad. Not going to lie, I do like the colors. The colors are really nice. Oh, and the little tail. <gasps> Look at her little fuzzy tail. That is so cute. I do like the colors on this one. I might just keep this one. 
next up, let's see. Let's just go for this unicorn. I feel like I had one similar to this. Who are you? This is Ruthie. Pretty solid standard unicorn. Um, if I ever end up doing another giveaway or like sell these or something like that, I will probably get rid of her, unfortunately. Not a big unicorn person. Um, I like it when they're like solid colors, then I don't mind them, but wait, where'd she go? You know, the little like subtle tie-dye is not that bad, but just not really my taste. But speaking of tie-dye unicorns, <laughs> oh no, this isn't, oh no, it is. Just kidding. I thought it wasn't because her freaking horn was folded but this is phoenix the unicorn and i feel like i've seen her before but she is another tie-dye unicorn with the little tail and the little fuzzy mane so she's pretty cute again just not my taste even though her colors kind of like her colors they're kind of nice but anyway let's get on to the last two first up we have donna i want to say hopefully that's how you pronounce it this is a little like cheetah. So she's got some little sparkly ears, which I do enjoy a good sparkly ear. I don't really have anything good or bad to say. I'm not like a cheetah person, I guess, or leopard. Are you a leopard? I don't, I don't know how to tell the difference. I'll be honest. Just solid, like solid clip. Me doesn't know what to say about this cheetah clip. <laughs> But anyway, the last one in the box is this Catacorn. This is Lux, the Catacorn. Cat, why am I saying Catacorn? Like Caterpillar, Unicorn, Catacorn, Catacorn. I got this. <laughs> Honestly, I'm gonna keep her. Even though I know I just said that I don't like the unicorn horns, but I may just end up like taking this off. Miss Girl has a little heart nose and I just love her little pale pink belly. It is so cute. She does have the little multicolored tail as well, but I think she's solid. So I'm going to keep her and I do, I just have like a little soft spot for cats anyways. So yeah, that is it for the Squishmallow mystery box from Australia. That's everything that we got. The clips box was $18.48 divided by six clips made each one three dollars and eight cents which i think is a really good deal especially for where is it the little axolotl i definitely would have paid like 10 bucks for her so yeah so that all sounds pretty cheap i know but technically after i paid everything and after i paid shipping it ended up being 96 dollars and 52 cents so 96.52 and then we'll divide by the amount of pieces that I got. So 96.52 divided by 14 Squishmallows. I know it's not the same because they're like clips versus seven inch, but that makes each one $6.89. So I think that's pretty good value overall, especially considering the quality of these Squishmallows that I got. Like if these were five below quality Squishmallows, then I would say save your money. But like, these are so plump. They have so much stuffing, which like, again, all of the Squishmallow mystery boxes that I've been getting, they've been so flat. And even like I said, the ones in five below that they're selling now, like they sell eight inch Squishmallows at five below that are like the worst quality. <laughs> like I would say the weakest one is this one, which has been at five below. But even this one feels a little bit nicer than like the Amazon one that I got. And this one is just so plump. Oh my goodness, what a chongus. I think it was a well worth it box, especially because I got a Wamina. I got a frog. I felt like there was actual variety and they were good quality and the value was pretty good even considering the high shipping costs and the overall high price that I paid. But you know, it came with eight uh, seven inch squish mode, So I feel like that was pretty good. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling so much, but thank you so much for watching this video. Again, I have more of these videos if you want to check them out. And if you want me to get more mystery Squishmallows from a certain website or a certain place, let me know down in the comments below. Um, I feel like I need to revisit the Amazon mystery Squishmallow boxes. We may have to do a final episode of the Amazon mystery Squish, but let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.